Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free to use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. In the previous lessons, we've looked extensively at calculating drug dosage based on the weight of a patient. And you can find these lessons in the calculating dosage element of the NurseNet Numeracy course. We can work out how much of a drug to administer a patient based on their size, or more specifically, the patient's surface area. Chemotherapeutic drugs are commonly dosed according to body surface area, and we can employ many of the skills learned in the previous lessons in helping us calculate drug dosage based on a patient's surface area or on body surface area. In fact, many children's drugs are dosed according to body weight, milligrams per kilograms, or body surface area. We represent body surface area to dose ratio as milligrams per meter squared. So a drug manufacturer will recommend a drug dosage by milligrams administered in meter squared surface area. Or put another way, you might see on a manufacturer's dose a dosage of 5 milligrams per meter squared, which means there are 5 milligrams per drug per meter squared of the patient's body surface area. So therefore we need two bits of information to help us with our calculation. Number one, the prescribed dose per square meter. And number two, the surface area in square meters of the patient or the body surface area. So to work out the dosage required, we simply multiply the dose per meter squared by the body surface area of the patient. So let's do an example. A patient with a body surface area of 1.5 meters squared is prescribed 5 milligrams per meter squared of a drug. How much of the drug should the patient receive? So let's use the formula dose multiplied by the patient's body surface area. So that's 5 milligrams per meter squared multiplied by the patient's 1.5 meter squared body surface area, which gives us 7.5. Well, that's great now that we've worked out how to get our prescribed dose on the body surface area of the patient. But now we need to put this into context of a drug's calculation based on body surface area. So let's look at an example. A patient with a body surface area of 1.2 meters squared is prescribed 3.5 milligrams per meter squared of a drug that is available in a stock dose of 5 milligrams per 20 milliliters of solution. How much of the solution should the patient be given? In the last lesson, let's break this question into two parts. Part one, to work out what the prescribed dose of the drug should be. And part two, how much of the solution, that's the prescribed dose is dissolved in, should be given to the patient. So part one, a patient with a body surface area of 1.2 meters squared is prescribed 3.5 milligrams per meter squared of a drug. So if we use our calculation formula, dose multiplied by the patient's body surface area, that gives us 3.5 milligrams multiplied by 1.2 meters squared of the body surface area, which gives us a total of 4.2 milligrams. Now we have the prescribed dose, let's move on to part two. The drug is available as a stock dose of 5 milligrams in a 20 milliliter of solution. So we can add our prescribed dose into our drugs calculation formula, which is prescribed dose divided by stock dose multiplied by the volume of the solution the drug is dissolved in. So let's crunch the numbers. 4.2 milligrams prescribed dose divided by 5 milligrams of stock dose gives us 0 0.84 milligrams. 0 0.84 milligrams multiplied by the 20 milliliters of solution that the drug is dissolved in gives us a total of 16.8 milliliters. Okay, now it's your turn. A patient with a body surface area of 1.4 meters squared is prescribed 4.5 milligrams per meter squared of a drug that is available in a stock dose of 5 milligrams to 20 milliliters of solution. You can pause the video and press play when you're ready to reveal the answer. OK, breaking this question down into two parts. Part one, to work out what the prescribed dose of the drug should be. And part two, how much of the solution should be given to the patient. Part one, using our calculation of 
dose multiplied by the patient's body surface area gives us 4.5 milligrams multiplied by 1.4 meter squared body surface area giving us 6.3 milligrams prescribed dose. Now let's input that into our drugs calculation formula to answer part two. 6.3 milligrams prescribed dose divided by 5 milligrams of the stock dose gives us 1.26 milligrams prescribed dose. 1.6 milligrams multiplied by 20 milliliters of solution the drug is dissolved in gives us a total of 25.2 milliliters of solution. If you're feeling confident, go to the body surface calculation test within the drug dosage module on the NurseNet numeracy site. Remember, you can get lots more maths help at www.nursenet.uk or if you're simply looking for your next career move in nursing, do check out our jobs board.